I ran kids a thousand places. <laughs> Jamie went and did crafting with her friend because she wanted to do a craft day for her birthday. <laughs> Mariah was there with Jamie. Don't walk away. Now you only have me. Maybe they said put on the brim of your hat. Yeah, we had craft oh, day. Know. We had, we, Zeb and I learned the hula we at did. the, uh, the neighborhood fall festival and we danced it in front of people. How so that is was that? Is that too close? How's the sound? <laughs> it should be picking me up like magic. I don't know. I don't know. The problem is I'm worried that this one down here, I could put it on my mask. You need one. to get a hat too. No, it only happened once. Okay. Next, let's talk about this. Finial I think we got the is, two huge things out of the way. Two dollars, and we're selling it for sixteen ninety five. We're not going to paint it because I like the way it looks. It's really cool. But we are going to paint that situation. I don't know if the camera picks up how bad that actually is. People are going to come in to the thrift hall later, and they're going to be like, "Why is the mic on his on his brim of his hat?" I might go back in later and trim like the first of that bad audio out. Okay. This has a couple cracks and dings and things. We got to glue it up in here, but really love this. I almost passed on it. I don't remember. Do you, the price has been pulled off. Do you remember how much this was? I think it was $10. Yeah, it was $10. We almost didn't get it, but I think it's going to be super cool painted, but it's like this really bad splotchy job. It is resin. It's not like uh, porcelain <laughs> or clay or pottery or anything like that. Um, but we're selling it for $26.95 painted. And the bird, I like the bird a lot. I think in this coloration where it's like brown and looks like it's been drenched in snow, which if you've ever seen a bird, if they get wet, they shake that off quick. They don't like their feathers wet. So that's not very realistic. So we're going we're gonna to paint it and make it green and see if we can give it a tropical Kai vibe. Kai says, what is that? Uh, it's, I don't it's, know. A it's very, it's kind of festive. Orb of greatness with a bird on top of it. This could be like your white elephant gift, like the grand prize for the best present. You give this to that person at the end. I don't know. <laughs> it's a, I named it the large bird finial situation because I was like, I don't know what to call it. You could hold it like a baby, wrap it up in a blanket. You do what you want. The only thing I don't like about StreamYard is that I have to like, I don't, I have to like click it to get them to go down. It would look nice in a in a garden. It would look great in a garden, I think. So this has been, it's still got the stickers on it. We're gonna probably uh, pull those off for you. Yeah, it will come complete with stickers removed. It does have some age on the inside. It looks like it's been used as like an ash bucket for cleaning out a fireplace. A long time ago, we did a video where we used toilet bowl cleaner to age a bucket. And so I'm going to do that same method. So when you get it, it's going to be rusty a little bit, maybe some oxidation, and it's going to be $22.95. It's going to be more, was it $4? I don't remember. I'm pretty Ooh. sure that was $4. I don't know, but this. this... Oh, $4.99. It says on the front. Oh, $4.99. So we actually went thrifting to three thrift stores this week. We went early because we knew we would be busy later in the week. But we didn't get enough. And then we did that cottage core thrifting video. So then we got even more. In fact, not everything from that trip is even here because some of it I haven't decided if I'm ready to part with it yet. So uh oh, we got a pinned comment. I don't know how to unpin comments. Oh, I can do it. You know yeah. how? No, oh, actually, I can't do it. You know, you didn't do it. Maybe Mariah will get it. She'll no, figure it out. It. I think it's over on the side, or you have to go back to the original comment. Oh, there it's blue. Right click that. Oh, yeah. So hide. It's just my nephew, Jake. He's saying hi, Aunt Jamie. Hey, what's up, Jake? It's my sister Renee's grandson. Okay. This... Oh, Anna got her Christmas paper today. Woo -woo. Oh, nice. How do you like it, Anna? That, you know, we haven't had a lot of people. A lot of people have bought it, but no one's used it much yet because it's still <laughs> mid-September. How do you like the paper? What do you think about that? We sold a ton of it. We just ordered more. Yeah, we had to reorder already. We got a little bit less than we normally get for stock, and we had to reorder because it was gone. It's we're like I was like, oh, waiting. it's seasonal. We won't need that much. Well, we sure did. It'll be here like Monday, so don't worry. Go ahead and order away. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, we sell decoupage paper, and it's awesome. You can find it at jamierayvintage.com. Jamierayvintage.com. You say that loud, not quiet. You're not whispery. Oh, I'm not quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I got the mic right here in front of my face. So two dollar tote. I, you know, it had like 
a glued on pumpkin patch thing here that just didn't go with the feel of the tote. It's got kind of an older style, you know, they had these tall, long handles back in the day so that they could put all their stuff in there. And it's about the size this of is, a half pint jar, maybe. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, this is a smaller tote. Looks like it's made more modern era with an old design to it, but I like it. Zeb bought that one. He buys all the totes. I, I don't pass them up. I don't. All right, next, uh, Zeb bought every single candlestick you see today was a Zeb purchase. I don't remember buying this many. Candlesticks. I don't, but apparently I did. He has candlestick nesia. So this was a dollar fifty. It's gold. It could be this way as a candlestick. I think it makes a better pedestal. Yeah. And it's going to be eight ninety five painted. Well, obviously this is where the original price tag was, so it was meant to be like that. Oh well, good. I just like the shape on it. I think if we do some kind of white or cream color with the gold coming through, it'd be really nice. It'd be cute. Especially with the holidays coming in, you need some pops of gold. I can never pass up these little like tins molds. This is a set of six. They were 50 cents each. These are in like a Christmas bell shape and we're selling them for $11.95 for the set of six. Are you doing that? What? Doing what? Putting the link up on the no, screen? No, it just does it itself. Neat. I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know that it does it every time. So this is a hermetic jar and it is ready. We don't have to do any crafting or anything like that to this. It's ready for your holidays. There you go. Oh. And hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to unpin that. Okay. So, ready for your holidays. It was $3.99. We're selling it for $9.95. We're going to give it a good scrub, clean it up, send it out to you if you want it. But I like the shape on this a lot. That was me. It was you. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble later. It'll be fine. All right. I'm going to move this stuff over here. The problem okay. is Zeb buried my, my laptop. Just don't touch it for a minute. Well, like no, they'll be okay see. for five, 10 ish minutes while we clear some space. Right, guys. All right. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. This one was also a dollar fifty. We're going to paint them. It's a matching set. $26.95. They're heavy. I think I, I want to say they're resin. I think they're resin. Yeah, they're cast resin, but they're really good solid. They're not like some of them you get them and they're hollow in the middle. These are solid all the way through. Yeah, those are really cool. I like on these, the side, how that dips down. Yeah, you can I don't think see you can that. tell as much because they're black, but once they're painted, they're going to be cool. And tis the season for candlesticks and candles because people and like jolliness. to put them on their mantles. Hey, Maureen, we are having a nice weekend. And Anna says she loves the Christmas paper, love the vintage look. That was it was fun. We had a good time designing that. All right. So normally we paint the handles on these and this week we are not because I just love the look of this. It's got metal inserts and not plastic. They actually like to pop out. That's how vintage it is. Um, it was two bucks and we're selling it for $10.95. Now this Santa, this Santa was a dollar. It says 1925 on it, but I'm thinking it's probably not from 1925. What do you think? No, I don't think so either. But I'm it calling does, it on that. It does have some chippy paint situation. It's super cute. And I'm selling it for $9.95. All Christmas stuff sells really fast. In fact, pretty much every Christmas thing I've purchased in the last six months has sold. So I'm not going to have any. I'm going to have to like start hoarding it. <laughs> so I actually have. Yeah, we tried a pre-buy, right? And then Did we show it. To, not yet. And then we show it to you guys and you guys pre-buy for the holidays. And then we're stuck around like October without much stuff for the holidays. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. We appreciate it. <laughs> Yumiko says, look out. I'm going to get a sweetie. Uh, I haven't dropped the sweetie yet tonight. I sweetied him beforehand. I'm like, sweetie, I can't get to my computer. So I can see what all my friends are saying. And he's like, I'll unbury it for you. And it was just me with a rooster with a messy bun for like five minutes. I unburied the rooster. <laughs> so these were actually purchased separately. Um, this was a dollar. And this is uh, Reed Barton 1201. I think it's stainless. I don't think it's. I don't think it's silver. Yeah. And this is stainless. And this is Mark. This was 50 cents. 
And this says Cultiva Sweden is where this was made. And the pair is, I think, twelve ninety five. Yeah, because yeah. they don't actually—they're not actually from like together. Is that bought them separately? But I thought they were so cute together. Yeah, they were in two separate thrift stores even, but I liked both, so I grabbed them. <clears throat> and for that price, I mean, fifty cents. I even if it's not going to be like a huge selling item, I'm willing to take a fifty cents gamble on this. A dollar fifty for the whole setup. If it's cute and it's little, Zeb will buy it for fifty cents. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna look at. The also, Jamie here. bought this. These little bell. Um, we already, we already talked pans. about them. Did you talk about those? We totally had an entire conversation about it. So I bought this bowl. I was I was so dazed by the fact that the live stream got interrupted. I tarnished silver it. bowl, one dollar, which is a steal at a uh, and it's electroplated. I believe it says EPNS. Yes. Uh, so EPNS on the bottom of your silver means electroplated nickel silver. If I get that right. And I only know because you guys are really smart and you tell it's me things. It's EPC 640H. Oh, what? Electroplated copper, right? Mm -hmm. If it's EPC? Anyways, it's electroplated something. And for $12.95, it can be your something. I love tarnished silver. So I buy all of it when I can get it. Can I see what it says, though? It says Jacquard's. Oh, it's French. Oh, P. Revere Reproduction. <laughs> So maybe it's not for friends, but it's really cute. All right. There was a couple of people who saw Friday's video and were excited about the cabbage pot. It does have a little chip right here in the front. If you look at the website, it discloses that and shows you close. So cabbageware is spendy. I saw some of these like 50, 60 bucks online. This one is 20. No, no, no. I made I marked it less than 20 because it has a chip. 16.95. 16.95 because it has a chip and we paid $2. But yeah, I saw some of these um, online. They're really expensive. I had no idea that cabbage wear was popular, but I just saw it and thought that is very cottage core because a head of cabbage, what gets more cottage core than that? It doesn't. And I, I love like you can. I love pottery like this because it's you can definitely tell it's handmade. Even this little the little lid is not completely cylindrical. Welcome, Alyssa Amber. She says she was excited to watch her first live, but she's in Texas, so she had to wait. She watched another video, and then she forgot we were live. It's all right. <laughs> it happens. It's okay. So I, you know, there's been a couple nights when I was like, oh, we're supposed to be live in an hour. All right. I think I'm doing good. We were talking about it before the live stream. This is like our 160 something ish That's a lot. live stream, more than three years worth of live streams on Saturday nights that we haven't missed one or Sometimes done. We, we have done like three or four pre recorded ones, but not and there very was many. an early one on the Halloween ones. Yeah, we did go early. So, and I think that isn't Christmas on a Saturday this year. Oh, is it? If it is, we will not be live on Christmas. We might take that one off. Yeah, it might be a Noxies. Um, buy all the copper. It's so dang cute. It looks great. Not just to like decorate with, but like on your Christmas tree. Um, this was, I think a dollar and I'm selling for three ninety five. dollars I have a bunch of copper mm -hmm. that I bought over a period of time. Some of it sold, some of it hasn't. So I'm excited to do a display with all the copper cookie cutters. You know, what's fun about us not, not missing live streams is we've done it on vacation and various places and we've gone thrifting. Uh, we were in Hawaii, went thrifting in Hawaii and did the thrift haul in hawaii that was actually really fun the ocean was in the background it was great is my sound still okay i keep forgetting that i'm not wearing it <laughs> false graph salt and pepper shakers these are like a year supply of salt and pepper maybe not salt because you know salt gets used fairly heavily around here they're at huge. least but they're big they were and two dollars each and did you not i thought you priced everything you put up here uh i must have missed these well we'll have to wait till mariah drops that but i'll watch for that but i'm gonna go and see what people have ordered they both have the stoppers though which is if you find the stoppers run with it all right what have people ordered because a lot of people take them and donate them to the thrift store once the stopper has been lost oh, or worn out sarah bought this purse so why don't you talk about this purse oh first? yeah you know what all the names are for this purse though because you're the one that looked it up it's just tapestry i think i'm gonna bring it close i'm gonna bring it close oh and Patricia got the finial and the honeycomb cookie press that we haven't found yet. But what's the plastic called? The plastic had a say a uh, special name. Um, that's lucite. Lucite. So it's actually bigger than it probably looks. It's not like a coin purse. It's pretty good well, size. You can see it next to my arm here. Yeah, I was super excited. We paid one dollar for it. I sold it for twenty six ninety five, um, and I saw them some 
of them upwards 50 ish dollars this one did not have a maker's mark so i didn't know the value but it's a pretty good condition even the pink satin there's a little bit of like staining in there but not bad it's got like a couple little sleeves in here too it's fun christmas is on a saturday totally cottage core totally cottage core so i'm super excited that sarah got that it's cute I knew I knew it was money when I saw it, but I wasn't sure. There, I do that a lot. Like I'll buy things, and I don't know. I like take a gamble on it. Milk glass is it still a thing? Are people still doing it? We are. Yeah, I love milk glass. I'm selling this as a set. Um, they were a dollar each, and they're gonna be twelve ninety five for the pair. Oh, I think it says quantity two in there. No. Okay. Sarah says that she's been waiting for the purse since our video because she saw it on our video from last week. Is it Bakelite? Um, Kay, I don't know if it's called Bakelite, like on the handle. I just called it Lucite because that's what like the plastic is. I don't. I think Bakelite is like a certain brand of Lucite. I'm really not like, that's not my area of expertise. A lot of Art Deco dressers have the Bakelite handles. I don't do a lot of Art Deco. All right. Denise says milk glass doesn't sell for her. You know what? It's hit or miss, but people love it or they don't love it. And sometimes people come in the shop and they wipe us out. You know what we do? Well, we there's a lot of weddings up here in Utah. Mm -hmm. Lots of young kids and people and, you know, they grow up and they get married. And then their moms come to our shop and they buy 30 of these things for centerpieces and they're gone. If I can ever have 30 at a time. Yeah, usually we only have about 10 at the most. The handle is Bakelite, they said. The handle on that. But if you're, so let's let's talk resale for a sec. If you've got a shop and you got a ton of these, put them all together in one display. And then even maybe if you've got some flowers or something thrifted that you've got, I'm not going to take this whole thing apart because it's very large. It's, a, it's not supposed to be taken and apart. And it's not it's meant together. to be taken apart. Um, but imagine... One big flower poking up out of here. It looks way better than just sitting there. It gives yeah. people an idea of what they can do with it. I actually just, I I do like flowers in them, but I also love a milk glass display. It's just all milk glass together with nothing else. It's just really pretty. It's kind of like ironstone. Yeah, we don't I really have trouble selling them, so we don't. We just, Hi, let's talk about the flowers. My doing good. She came home from the hospital Thursday. I picked it up. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. It's kind of a whirlwind. My dad actually had vein surgery today. Caitlin took him to that because... I was at a friend's birthday party and Zeb was um, doing football. And when we say birthday party, this is a bunch of like women that got together. Mariah made half the crafts for this thing. Um, and then they, they, they crafted all day together and ate delicious treats while I ran the kids around in the rain and football. I'm good. That at you also loved. I mean, you could I'm good at DIY, but I enjoy some football you know i was complaining a little bit when it was raining because i'm like man football is so much more fun to play in the rain than it is to watch in the rain and my, my dad said it was an outpatient procedure like he's here in his room so so this was two dollars for this whole bundle if you find good fake flowers at the thrift store grab them because they're usually like pennies on the dollar for what they sell for even half off down at your local craft shop i just loved hey how Tasha, much are we selling these for there's no 7.95 and they were two dollars so this is probably about $18 half off of flowers at the thrift store. And we're giving them to you guys for $7.95. I think the bouquet is really pretty. It is a good, it's definitely meeting the fall criteria right now. Yeah, I love all the things in it. And, you know, ironically, while I was crafting, I was making these little bitty pumpkins and I had to like sew to put the little like lines you did in them. Some sewing was, today too? I did. It made my hand hurt and cramp up. And I was like, dang it, I wish Zeb was here to craft with me. And then they were talking about doing cement pumpkins. And I was like, Zeb I, wants to do cement I pumpkins. I wanted to do a whole video on cement pumpkins this week and we didn't. So comment below, do you want to see videos on doing cement pumpkins? We cannot do cement pumpkins. We have to do furniture. I know we sold five pieces of furniture this week, <laughs> like in one week. Five. We Four usually we have to ship, and one in the. We shop. usually sell about five pieces of big furniture a month, which oh, is if you we're know, lucky lately, it's been mostly yeah. small. We haven't sold furniture. Well, yet. we do have the shop set up like it, the furniture is buried under yeah. the small items right now, but. Well, They've People been, been selling, buying them. They've been selling on. We sold three of the four on Etsy and then one on our website. And it's mm -hmm. just been crazy. I'm like, holy moly. So furniture videos coming your way because we have to film what we're doing. Yeah. Correct, Amundo. All right. Looks like we just sold something else. Let's see what else. Kathy, what did you buy, Kathy? Look at this beautiful set. Isn't it oh, lovely? she bought the floral bunch. You must have been a really good fan of white. I was trying. You are the best. So this has a real, it's like a deep navy 
but almost like a royal blue, but still navy. Depends on what light. Like it's, it's it's nighttime right now, but in the daylight, they look much brighter. They almost look black so in this lighting. So the two ones were a dollar fifty each. The two big ones were two fifty, and I only read the price on one of them. So maybe it's that one. Nope. Are you sure? I'm sure. It's like, like, how do you do that? Which one is the price on? I'm pretty sure it was twenty nine ninety five. They want to know what you did before um, you worked at JRV. I worked at Discount Tire for many, many years, 15 years in total, and was climbing up the corporate tire chain ladder and uh, had to jump off. But he but landed glad, on his feet. I'm, yeah. Yeah, it was a good jump. I'm glad we did. Okay, I've actually been to the tire short store twice today. I had to get a new tire on Jamie's SUV, and then my truck had a flat <laughs> between chasing the kids around to football games. So yeah, I got we that spent taken some time care of. At discount tire today, so it's always good. All right, it's okay, Mariah. I found it. I'm going to drop the link for those. Although you might want to drop it for the people on Facebook. All right, basket. Oh, Anna sold a big buffet today. Yeah, furniture has been sold. Typically for us, especially through the winter, it's slow. And then when people get over, or sorry, not winter, summer, it's slow. When people get over the summer vacation mode, they start to think, they start nesting. And then we start selling more. Oh, here, you can undo that. I don't know how you do it. I can do it if you back away, but I don't want to press the wrong button and get in trouble. Yeah, don't do just, it. There you go. Boom. Nope, you just showed it again. All right. No. It won't not hide. Move your... Move your, you have I to move it. this or else it'll do it again. Basket, $29.95. How much did we pay for this one? $5. Hey, Stacy. Yeah, we paid five bucks. It's going to be $29.95. It's actually going to be a basket within a basket because it has a basket inside. It's got of a it basket liner. liner in here. And, and then I, are I, you doing the plate too? Sure. You get the plate inside the basket, inside the basket, just because if you plant it in it, this one has a liner, so things be good. This is a nice terracotta and glazed I didn't include plate. It in the picture, but if you buy that, you also get the platter. There you go. Two baskets and a platter, because at the thrift store, I got, it was all together. It was it like five bucks for both baskets and the platter. So if you buy it, you get all the situations. I think, can you pull the basket outside? I couldn't get it out. I'll see. It's pretty stuck. Uh-oh. No, I'm not going to mess with it. It's going to arrive to you. You can bang it out you if you want. You can pull it out if you want to. Oh, the, the Christmas mold sold. Let's see who bought those. Do, 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 do. Oh, Carol. Jamie's mom came in here, and she was super excited about this. <laughs> She's like, oh, I love that so much. It's so pretty. She's like, did you know, do you have the burner, or did you find one? And then I lifted the lid off. And I was like, look what I have here, mom. She's like, ah, she literally yelled. It has the <laughs> antique sterno, that, or vintage sterno. I don't know that that's, you should use that. I don't know if they expire. Everybody's saying cement pumpkins. So we'll have to do cement pumpkins. Maybe not next week, but the week after. Because next week we need to do at least one furniture video. And we need to do the fall decor and clean kitchen. Because I need you to help me clean the kitchen. Sterno canned cooking heat is what it's called. Honestly. I don't think we can ship this. What you think it's not legal? I don't know. We'll maybe maybe a we'll silver just silver chasing chafing. Dish. Maybe it we'll just and do this it. handle. Un oh, sorry. Yeah, the unscrews. Oh, so it can store better. Yeah. So well, also like so you can ship it easier. So this comes off, and I think you can just flip that one inside out. It's in really good condition. I love the twisty on the bottom. It's super cool. So twenty eight ninety five. Did you tell them that already? I don't think I did. What I was is just, the price? What was it originally? Um, I didn't see. I might it on have there. taken it off for the picture. I think it was like I think I spent uh, ten dollars on this. It was kind of spendy, but I couldn't leave it. It was super cool. Great for all your parties. Uh, we did not make a cement pumpkin video last year. Nope. My girlfriends were actually talking about wanting to make cement pumpkins. I told them we couldn't do it without you. Oh, super chat! Sally says, "Love the vintage Persh cottage core is the best." It is fun. We're having fun with it. And it really kind of fits our aesthetic already. We've been doing it for years and didn't even know that it had a name. People Mariah just... says she feels like she needs that chafing dish. Mariah entertains way more than we do. Mariah does entertain. When I entertain, I get takeout. <laughs> Mariah's favorite thing is to have a party with everybody at her house to eat all the delicious things she's made. Hey, Les. She says, sorry she was late. Woot, woot. 
Let's see if I missed anybody. Um, we have so much thrift haul stuff. I'm having to haul it over there because we also we hit three his thrift stores up, but we also hit up an antique store uh, called Euro Treasures. But I don't think anything from the antique store made it. We got a bunch of like. Ottoman. Jamie took the box right, and she's like, "I'm keeping this for me." The broken pieces box. Some of them will sell. But I have to like figure out where I want to use some of them because what if I sell something and then I need it? You can't just find salvage, right? Like you, you gotta hoard it because that's what you do with salvage. So I will let you guys know when I'm ready to release a few of those pieces. So this I think is stainless steel. But raise your hand if you're with me. You can do it virtually over here in the comments. I think you can on. I think you can on. Uh, you can do Facebook. an emoji. You know, do your little hand raise emoji. I love our big butter dish in the back. It's awesome. It says butter on the top, fun glass detail. What I don't like is after the kids have been in it and it looks like the butter has been attacked and then I can see that and it's no longer in like a nice clean stick. You know, instead of just taking a little slice off the end, they're like over here mashing it so and mushing it. I like this because you don't have to see the butter. If you're that with me beautiful. on not seeing the messy butter, let me know. I'm at this a hands down. I want to see the butter. I don't care if it's messy. <laughs> Wait, how's ours looking? Oh, that's not too bad right that is now. on Zeb's hat. So Zeb has his mic on his hat. So the butter's not too uh, bad. Leslie raised her hand. Okay, so this is our butter, right? Our butter dish is actually really awesome. But look, now I've got a schmear over here. Someone has taken a big scoop out of the middle. Someone swiped it on the top. Someone's cut off this side over here. Like, why can't you just slice from one end till it's gone? Is that just my OCD kicking in? Just wanting to know. I know I've got some people out Lots there. Lots of people don't like it. Cynthia hates it. <laughs> um, my mother had some issues with her um, gut. We'll just say that. Whatever you want to call this section. It's, it's something that's happened a lot. So we're glad, we're glad for the hospital here. We paid 75 cents. This one's $8.95. I'm still going to love that butter dish because it's big enough to hold the carrot Linda gold says, butter. are you a butter snob? I'm going to take my sweater I'm off. I'm not. I actually don't even use the butter very often because I don't do toast. It was a little bit chilly tonight. So this was a dollar. It's Zeb a is good... a butter policeman. Zeb... So Zeb is I'm real a lot of I'm a the... lot of policemen on a lot of stuff. Zeb is real patient on camera, but I'm going to tell you, he just has some things he likes a certain way. And after 20 years, I just... Some things I just give up because I don't care, but I do I do try to keep you happy. You like leave. if we are gonna get a restaurant, right? And we're gonna pull over to fast food. If I can find a restaurant on the right side of the road, I will because Zeb hates making left turns or U-turns for anything. It's it's a he huge will, waste if, of time, and then you gotta go find an intersection if it's a busy street to yeah. get back going in the direction you wanted to go. And it makes him so happy when I'm like, Well, I chose this restaurant because it was on the right side of the road, and he's like, You do love me, and I'm like, Yeah. I also don't touch the thermostat. Leave it at 73. If it's winter, leave it at 70 or 68. Less. Because I've already got warm clothes on. 68's great. And uh, shut the lights off when you leave a room because I don't need them on anyway, whether it's midnight or 3 a.m. or 3 in the afternoon. Don't turn the lights on. <laughs> Last one's a church update. I will give that to you in here a little bit. We're going to talk about this because it's in Zeb's hand. Zeb bought that, not me. I'm going to sand this off. And then it's bamboo. I like bamboo cutting boards. But I don't have like an abundance of bamboo grown in my backyard. So I buy oh, them when I find them, sand off whatever's on there. And then sometimes I'll even stain them with like a good milk paint stain, give them a little age. I can make these look old, like old wood instead of bamboo. So we paid a dollar and we're selling for $9.95 and Zeb's going to work some magic pieces. It'll, it's you, some 60 grit. Then you hit it with some 220 to smooth out the 60 grit. You're done. Takes like so, three minutes. Carleen bought the wire salt and pepper caddy, which I misspelled. Sorry, Carleen, from last week. But she also bought the rooster creamer. So we'll show that. It's really cute. So I paid $2.99 and I'm going to sell it for $9.95. It's so stinking cute. I love these. I'm a sucker for them. I can't not buy creamers. Give all, right. all the creamers. The creamers are good. They're, right, let's they're... talk about those and then we'll give less an update on the church. Because okay, and I'm going to start painting some stuff in just a minute too. So this... If you, watched, if you watched the video Friday, it's a great video. It's a, like a thrift with me. We actually take you into the thrift stores. We took you into the eye candy antique store that was actually huge. It's called Euro Treasures in Salt Lake if you're local. And we showed you all the stuff in there. So check that video out if you haven't. But I found this 
in one part of the thrift store. And then later you see me drop another one in the basket and we're always getting like ceiling tins and things. And these have two ways to hang them. I don't know why really, cause they're like symmetrical, but I really liked them. So I'm going to paint them up and I'm going to do that for you right about now. I'm going to go get ready to start painting. Okay. But stuff. the problem is you have a lot of stuff over there. you got to pass this direction. I'll, I'll pass it. I'll pass it when you're ready. Or maybe side. we can swap. So did you, you say painting. how much was worth? Oh, I think I forgot. $2 each. So we paid four bucks and we're selling for twenty four ninety five, which makes them like twelve fifty each, which is about what we sell the tiles the for. The price for the basket is in here. You had two tags in here. I'm pretty sure you didn't pay ten ninety nine for this basket, so I'm guessing it was the ninety nine cents tag. Um, yeah. So the ten ninety nine was that bird finial. Oh. And I didn't want to forget that. Okay. We actually paid twenty percent less because we got coupons at the Savers. So this basket was ninety nine cents. I love a basket that can be hung on the wall. I think they're super cute. Also, these are so cute on like if you have like a long farm table and you have like a captain's chair, tie a ribbon on it and hang it from the captain's chair with um, flowers in it for the season, whether it's like spring or Christmas or whatever. It looks really really cute. So I wish I could have found more of these, but I just found one and it's nine ninety five for this basket. All right, I didn't. I did not click that, and it's it's okay. just putting it, it up there. Okay, we're good. Here, three ninety nine cake dome. We like to get these whether they've got the bottom or not, because the dome is always what breaks when, at least in our experience. So we we pick these up when we can. Twelve ninety five for just a dome. If you've got a big plate or like a wood charger or something, these are awesome. For Those that. are really cool. If you take like a Sunday dish and glue it to like a big plate and make your own cake plate, these fit on there and then make a nice, interesting dome. Okay, so oh, Jessica says Euro Treasures. Candace and Andy Meredith from Magnolia Shop. There, they have bigger budgets than I do. They sure do. <laughs> Candace and Andy have actually shopped in my store. If you watch their. Um, when they did their little daughter kids room, they didn't give me a shout out on the show, but they did on social media. Um, they bought the corbels that they put in kids room. They bought them from my store like a long time ago because they filmed that show forever ago. It's been over a year. Were, yeah, they were trying. We were working like hardcore on the house and they invited us out to some of the filming, but we just never made it because we were super busy. Um, so Les asked about the church. I'm going to talk about that and then I'm going to keep going. Um, but anyways... Where's the chart? church? Oh, we have the last city meeting next Thursday to change the zoning, which is, it's not going to be a problem. They've already like said they love it. So they'll do that. Um, we have to go in and do a sketch of what we're going to be doing to the church. So that way the lender can just make sure, okay, they're going to have enough money to do what they need to do to get ready to move into it. And we have already received preliminary approval from the bank. And we're waiting on the SBA to give us their approval and hoping to close sometime mid-October. We probably won't get into it till possibly November because we gave the owners 15 days after closing to move um, because they've lived there a long time. <laughs> and I think they didn't want to move all their stuff out till they knew like, yeah, this is a, this is a done deal. Yeah, they've, they've been there. So the is she 92 or 93? Yeah, been, they've been there since the 60s. She, the mother, owns it. And she's, she's lived in that house since the 60s. And her son's lived there since like the 2000s, I think, the early 2000s. So it's been a while. Like if you, I, I think about 2000, right? I graduated high school in the year 2000. And that was 21 years ago now. Okay, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> All right, Zeb's going to paint those. He's going to be using DIY paint. You can I'm, also pick that up at jamierayvintage.com. I'm going to show you guys these. They have a little bit of crazing. I don't know if the picture like picked that up. I love the creamy color on them. Super cottage core just because they're just usable and decor. I feel like both those things go in hand in hand. They were $2 each and I'm selling them for $12.95 each. And they're cute. So if I was, you know, I think these would be really good milk painted. The DIY paint's great for if you're if you're like a beginner painter and you want to just paint a bunch of decor, go thrifting, find some stuff, change up your look in your house. The DIY paint is probably one of your very best friends. It's going to stick to everything, a couple coats on the whites, and distresses really nicely, powders off when you distress it, or if you wet distress it, it's water-soluble. It doesn't, doesn't break your arm trying to scrub it off, um, and the colors are great. But I think I want to try to start mixing up some milk paint beforehand because I think we would use it more if I it had it just to mixed. go to. Yeah, it's hard to do live. It's hard to mix it up live and, and do it. 
because we've got some really great kind of really nice neutral and soft colors in the milk paint brands that we carry and they, they, they do chippy wonderful things that while chippy the wonderful thing while the diy paint will will distress really great the milk paint sometimes just naturally flakes off and you're like oh that was a good piece of flake sometimes right there it just pisses you off because it's annoying <laughs> doesn't do what you want i'm just disclosing that i love milk paint it's evident by the fact that almost every single piece of furniture that i have is painted with milk paint but i'm also not super picky if it doesn't turn out perfect but yeah, I like to just claim that because people are like, it didn't chip the way I wanted. And I'm like, I told you, it's unpredictable. So full disclosure. Which is what we love about it. Yep. So a dollar for each of these, even this wee little baby cheese crock. And we're selling the set for $19.95 for all three. I was thinking about selling them individually, but I just thought they were so cute displayed together that I wanted to keep them together. This one actually has mushrooms on it. But you could easily, it's already scratched. You could take those mushrooms off, no problem. Dealer choice. So you decide what you want to do with it. <laughs> Heidi says we need a shirt that says chippy wonderful things. <laughs> we saw Heidi this week while we were She thinking. was in the thrift store. We're like, oh, hey, Heidi, what's up? I'm like, listen, we already, we already combed all these shelves, but I bet she found some good stuff. Okay, so we had another person shop let's see what we got well i saw heidi was buying a bunch of lemons so she had oh, a specific cute. thing in mind oh <sighs> almost lost you that. almost got your new lehigh shirt dirty that's okay i bought two because i knew oh it would what did miss linda buy linda bought the cabbage teapot whoop, whoop. and shannon bought the enamel mug with the eagle that you guys watched me last week painstakingly spend 30 minutes getting the paint off the one side <laughs> oh and just so you know shannon that eagle, if you don't want it on there, if you soak it, it'll slide off. I know because I left it in water too long and it slid off and I put it back on and then the adhesive sucked it back on. So dealer choice. Just want to let you know that. Oh, and then she got herself some IOD. Fun. All right. I'm oh, back do you guys want to see? We haven't showed IOD in a little bit because we've been doing lots of other show? projects. I'm going to show them that plaque from last week. Oh, yeah. It's super cute. I think we need to do a little bit of backfill in there, but it turned out good. Did you guys watch? Can you click the camera? It like shrunk the screen. You know how it does? Oh, um, yes. If you watched last week's thrift haul, we had that cottage core floral print. And I was gone. I don't remember what I was doing. And I left Seb in charge. And look what he came up with. I think it's already sold, but it turned out so dang cute. So it had, if you remember, it was wood kind of finished like that around the edge. And then it had this gold rope that was starting to fray and do bad things. <laughs> so you can see where I, I kind of put these on. That's what Jamie's talking about backfill because the, the I painted it before the clay was dry. But I think that turned out pretty awesome. And someone's yeah. already scooped it up. So sorry, we're showing yeah. you something. But I just wanted to, this is the IOD. Uh, is it is the it trim trimmings three? It's trimmings three is what this is and they come straight and i just while the clay was still wet i just rolled it around here glued them on hold on did that have little cutouts or did was it flat it was flat okay if it's flat without cutouts and that's trimmings two i think trimmings three is the one where they like puzzle piece together so it's a different one yeah this one's flat yeah all right that, that makes one sense. of the trimmings if you get all the trimmings you'll be covered it's not a youtube video we just showed it last week's thrift haul and then when we did all of our smalls this week we just did the frame on that one so all right let's see here do you want to it's like you didn't see me she just got back from the fall festival helping clean up okay so cottage core plate this i put the logo on this in the listing so if you buy you can check on it i I didn't have time to look up the maker. All it has is Germany underneath and then this really cool crest on the top. It was $1.50 and I'm selling it for $12.95. I love plates like this. It's got a little bit of crazing. Some of the gold leafing is missing, but the colors are just really great on it. And we sell single plates like this all the time. Not so much giant sets of dishes, but single plates and single creamers and sugar dishes always do really well for us. All right, so if you've been watching me, I've been over here. I could have held the brush like this. I'm just ramming it in all the details here. But that's the beauty. Is this a can painted? I don't know. That... It's got some wear to it, which is I don't think I that. I mean, maybe it's from Germany. So, I mean, there's a good <laughs> chance those guys are extra over there. They are. 
So Joanne says she's coming in late because she lost the microphone on that. <laughs> it was crackling and doing stuff that I didn't know how to stop. So I'm stuck it up Microphones are so expensive. Like our stuff was what, what, like two fifty. Yeah, and I have these nice, these nice <laughs> lavalier mics that come up right under here, and we can hide the unit down below. Luckily, these GoPro or these Video Go Two mics have. A microphone built in right here so i can just clip well, it and we're on the trying not to spend any extra money because our banker <sighs> he's like our our boss I, man he's like you need to sell all the things make as much money as you can so that way you look good for closing oh and he's like don't spend, don't any, money. spend any money i'm like we have <laughs> to spend money to operate our business like we still have regular business expenses and we got it but it's like the holiday season this is like our big spending time of year he's like, like yeah don't don't I was spend like, it listen are you my boss i mean kind of you are right now because i really love the church but it's hard when somebody tells me now. So what we need you to do, shameless plea here, go buy all the fancy things that you've been wanting to craft and make. You know, just hit up Jamie Ray Vintage and it'll be good. We have all the great stuff for you. On We're not asking for donations. Share. We're going to give you good stuff. Or share with your friends. Share this video, especially if you're on Facebook. Okay. We love you guys. So, we do. You guys are amazing. I can't believe how much furniture we sold this week. I'm still like in shock. And it's all been the last few days. I mean, it's been six years now that we've been doing this full time together. We've never sold that. And we many can't pieces. do that without you, and it's awesome. We've never sold so many pieces that needed to be shipped ever. Like we sell a piece here maybe two times a year that needs to be shipped, but four in a week, that's nuts. All right. Twelve ninety five is how much we're selling this butterbell for. And um, it was a dollar fifty. And I pick up butterbells every time I see them because I can't even buy this wholesale for twelve ninety five. And so I try to pick them up when I can. It's kind of just like a simple one, but I think once the IOD uh, croc, not croc, classic pots, the classic pots transfer is coming back. Uh, I think in the next few weeks to a month. Are you allowed this to say that? So, yeah, I mean they, we know there's new releases coming. All right. We can't give you exact dates because really nobody knows, not even them. But anyways, <laughs> I think this. <laughs> hey, we're at the mercy of freight companies. This would be so cute with one of the classic pots transfers on there. So I'm going to paint this, so they I'm going to tell you about it. This is $2. This one was a dollar. You can see why I was snagging this up. This one was $2. This one was originally 26 at some store back in the day. Oh, sorry. I'm not as loud as Zeb. I will move my mic. Yeah, you got to keep your mic close. We're selling the whole set for $29.95. This one's wood. This one's some sort of resin and then this one resin. also resin but i'm gonna paint them so i'm gonna tell you about them i think i'm gonna go with a blue or apothecary because this is already white if i paint these white and then distress this one it's not gonna really show much of the detail and this one has wax on it i need to get that this off. is gonna have a heat gun situation yeah so this two dollars it said originally 26 i ain't nobody spent i just told them all that so but how many are we selling for the set I already told them that too. Oh, 29.95. So that makes them like 9.95 each. Are you going to paint these now? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Why don't you paint that other set? Because this needs a lot of heat gun work. Okay, I can. I these just ones? know that I'm going to paint it like a blue or a green color because that one candlestick's already white, and when I distress it, that white will come back through, and so will the other darker colors. Well, sorry to burst your bubble. All right, we'll do these ones that we showed earlier. That needs work. Okay, so this actually a long time ago they sold out super fast. We did some art on cement tools. And this one has been sitting on my shelf, but if you watch the video from Friday for our collaboration that we did um, on Boho Cottage Core, I redesigned, like decorated my shelves, and I tried really hard not to keep too much stuff. And so this didn't make the redesign and decorate, so I'm selling it. And I hand painted this. It's actually one of my favorites. It was a waste on Wednesday. Um, and I think I did this off camera, which is probably why it's fairly decent, because sometimes I get nervous on camera. I don't know if you know that about me. And it's $22.95. And I actually got all the cement tools for free. So really, you're just paying for my artwork. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I mean, it lived on my shelf. So there we go. It lived on there for a long time. It made it the did. cut for several months in a row. For several which months. Which we get so much stuff because we're looking for things to put on the website and sell in the shop that we come a lot across a lot of things that Jamie wants to keep for herself. And for that to stay there for that amount of time, she really loved it. Yep, I did. All right. I feel like this is the last set of candlesticks for the night. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure you have options for your holiday settings. Well, I want to help you guys out. The candlesticks last week sold. The ones where you layered all the paint oh, on them. So, all right. Comment below if you liked my finish from last week because I need some love on that. A dollar each. So and I we're selling for nine. <laughs> I can keep doing it more if you like it a lot. You can 
do whatever you want. You're a big bully. Really? Well, sometimes I'm like, I have to sell that. <laughs> sometimes I bait things. And she's like, Zeb, I can't sell that. And sometimes I sell, but sometimes I'm like, I'll just put him in Zeb's corner because he has a part of the website. And anything that I'm not sure will go If you see vibe. it in Zeb's corner, you know that it's like or not. Or just because it's something special you did. Okay, yeah, so 1995 true. for the pair of these. <laughs> I kind of threw Jamie under the bus right there. She does like a lot of the things I do, but I like a lot of color, and sometimes it doesn't always work. You like a lot of color, but you don't like when things are too chaotic. No, I like like solid shades of things. Janelle really liked those from last week. All right. All right. Thank so you, this already sold. Um, this is a cookie press. It's got honeycombs on the bottom, and it was a dollar, and we sold it for nine ninety five. We love cookie presses. We buy them anytime we can. Did I already show this? I don't think I did. A dollar, also nine ninety five. This is like a resin top, but it's got a tarnished metal base. I don't actually. Maybe it's for soap. I think, and it's so dang cute. Yeah, I think so. It yeah, might have been. There might be more to it too, because it looks like the bottom could have been bolted onto something at some point. Maybe, really cool. In okay. case you're wondering. Have we shown the bird cage already? No, we haven't. Oh, I think I just moved it over here. So the bird cage was like a dollar fifty, which I thought was amazing. We're selling for sixteen ninety five. It's missing two feet, so we're just going to take off this foot and this foot, and then that way it can just sit flat, and it's got, like, rusty metal, and it's obviously probably never had birds, and it's just for decor, but it's got, like, a turned wood topper on it and then a hanger, and I think it's really cute. Sixteen ninety five for that one. So if you've been wondering, if prying minds want to know, this is the Klingon F30, and it's been kind of our go-to brush for most finishes for the last few months. We've been loving it. Also because it's in the drawer. It is in the drawer over there. <laughs> but they're great. They wash up super good. So if you're tired of like scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing your brushes and you still have pigment in them, for whatever reason, I don't know what kind of mad scientist <laughs> chemistry they did to make these bristles, but they wash up really easy. So we didn't price these, but I think I made them $12.95 for the pair. They're Avon, which I forgot to put in the listing. They were a dollar each, and they're little birds. They're kind of dirty, but we'll wash them up for you. And they've got taper holders. And I just these are from our cottage core haul. Too. What I'm Avon sure. birds? I'm not going to paint them because I really love the matte. Jamie light. likes Avon stuff because her mom likes Avon stuff. Okay, you know what? It's part of my childhood. This is a really cute little treasure box. It was a dollar fifty, and we're selling for twelve ninety five. And I love that it has like this basket weave texture on it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. And it looks like a lane type cedar chest, but it's just a miniature. And I love anything miniature. Oh, I got that because I was like, is it cottage core? Maybe it's a little bit boho, but. I think the natural texture of this is definitely cottage core. Yeah, it worked. Okay, so... It worked for both. So I grabbed it. There's some crossover there. Don't be scared of it. Oh, Cart said her mom used to have those. Then... Are you reading any Facebook comments? Um, I haven't seen any. If you're on Facebook and you want to comment. Let me know. I haven't seen any in a while. The peeps on YouTube talk a lot. All right. This. Oh, I said I didn't have anything from the Euro Treasures, but we I did. did. So I'm selling these sheets individually. They were $10. I had to go all over the store to find them. Um, and I'm selling for $1.95 each. And they've got, so I call this a lumber register. This is your this chance is. to get some authentic ephemera. Yes. It's hard to find, and a lot of times we only find one or two sheets, but we have a bunch. So, yeah, hold on. Can I just hit that? Oh, there we go. So, it's actually really good for the age, and I just thought it was super cool, and I'm selling for $1.95 each. I think it would be cute if you wanted to put something, like, in front of it and then put it on a clipboard or print something on it, maybe even stencil. I just... I couldn't leave it there. And I saved, I put enough in stock that we can sell it, but I also saved a few pieces because I knew Zeb would really like it. I do like it a lot. So this was fun. All right, let's talk about something else we're selling individually. I haven't done this before, but I know people come to the shop looking for Christmas cards. Um, and I, sorry, I'm gonna come back because I know the mic's right here. So I found these gorgeous Christmas cards they were originally like $25 or whatever. I got them for $3 a box. And I'm selling the Christmas cards individually. I think $1.95. I'll have to wait till Mariah puts them on there. Um, but I think they'd be so pretty just framed, even if you didn't want to send them um, as a Christmas card. If you guys have like been following design, Religiana, 
I, I named it that. I don't know if other people call it that, but um, like European style is really popular. And this one has like some beautiful like baby cherubs on the bottom. And this is uh, Virgin and Child in Glory um, by Bartolomeu Esteban Murillo. Um, he was, he lived from 1617 to 1682. Yeah, $1.95. And they come with a gold lined envelope. So if I were you, I probably wouldn't order just this because then you'd pay like quite a bit to ship it. But if you're ordering other stuff and you want one of these really beautiful Christmas cards, I think we have 36. Diane, I have been trying to read comments on YouTube too, or on Facebook too, but because um, I can see them over here, but there's so many YouTube ones, they sometimes get buried. So I do my best. Cart says she's not religious at all, but she loves the art. Yeah, I just can really appreciate the art on this. And honestly, I mean, Jesus was born in the Middle East, so it's probably not super accurate, but I just think it's gorgeous. What kind of, let's see. Essentially, Kimberly says, I was buying old music books, tearing out the pages and rolling them up and tied with rip when they sold like crazily. Suddenly, I can't find the music books. Yeah, finding old books and paper is really, really hard. Kai says, Religiana is a thing. It's heartwarming. Yeah, I just really love it. So these are pretty. And if nobody buys them, then they will be my Christmas cards for the year. All right. Next are these cute little um, mini Dutch ovens. They're like stoneware. You're going to have to talk loud. I'm turning on oh, the heat gun. Okay. They were made from in Japan. So Don't hold too marked. close. Oops. Remember, it gets fuzzy. All right. They were, they were all marked Japan on the bottom, and it's a set of three. And they were all over the place, and I had to find them in different spots. Okay. I'm going to just get like a big boom mic and hang it from up here and we'll lower it when it's time to do the videos. Um, let's it's like see. my only solution. Janine says they're cute. And then Lisa says, clip the mic to me. I did have it clipped to me and it was like scratching and making weird noises. Can you guys still hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. All right. Here's number three. So there's three of these. Those are really cool. So 1995 for the set of three and I paid a dollar each. And I love that they're made in Japan. Maybe it's time you got a hat out. Drop that bad what boy on. What would I do the, with my bun? Drop it down the back and let let like a long. Oh, I don't think it's gonna work because mine's actually in front of me. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, they said they can hear me, so okay, good. I'm gonna just go with it. All right, this is actually really cool. It was ten dollars. It's a little bit wobbly, but I think you can tighten the screw. Yeah, it has a bottom. it has a screw on the bottom. So that will tighten that up. It has the little situation in the middle. And then all of these have glass inserts for the relish tray. It does not have the glass insert in the middle. And it's really pretty. And I'm selling it for $39.95. So if you want to have a bougie party with a silver plate relish tray, we got you. I've never seen one of these. And I like all the rosy details on the image. I mean, I'm sure they're everywhere. I've just never seen one drifting. So I was super excited to find this relish tray. Okay, I think we're almost there. Holy moly. You have to remember what you're like, I will bring the stuff to you. Well, you got to ask for what you want. In truth, I got distracted painting. There comes the truth. I gotta distress this gold one before the while the paint's still freshish. All right. Connie says I can hear, but it's faint. All right, I'll try to talk up. So this is a pewter spoon. It's got a bunny on the top. It was two dollars, and I'm selling for nine ninety five. Zeb says that this side looks like the Rebels logo from Star Wars. It is. Look at it. You can't unsee it once you look at it. So, bunny, Star Wars Rebel Spoon, whatever, super cute. I'm pretty sure that that was around and George Lucas saw that back in the day and he's like, that's the Rebel logo. I'm sure. <laughs> we'll ask George. Okay, so this is just like an old tin with a mirror on it. 
Um, and it was 50 cents. I'm selling for $16.95 because these always do really well for us. I'm not going to paint it because I like the way that it looks. Janine says you are correct. <laughs> okay. I think we're almost done here. Next is this ceiling tin. It was $6.99 and I'm going to paint it. Um, and it will be $19.95, but I'm going to remove the star because the star is loose. I don't love it. And I think I could put like Did some... they pop that in from the back or were you able to pull yeah. that off? I think I could put some pretty IOD like the lavender in here and it would look cooler than the star. So that's my plan for this. And it's had a few different lives because the front is like this sage green color and the back is blue. So, I don't know. See. Oh, they can hear me only when I walk away. You can't hear me when I walk away. It's probably because they probably can't hear you yeah. when you walk away. <laughs> my father's daughter says it reminds her of an old army jeep. Okay, next is this tarnished tray. It was $4.99. We're selling it for $12.95. I think it's like steel, but I wouldn't say stainless because it's tarnished. I don't know. I love all things tarnished. I thought this one was cool. Leslie says she can hear me fine. All right. Hey, Angela. Hold on. This is going to fall. The beauty of the live streams. You guys get all the fun and you get to experience all the technical difficulties here with us. I can't cut them out of the video. This was $1. And we're selling it for $5.95. It's just a perfect little apothecary jar, cute for um, cotton balls or whatever, like little small things. This I love. I think it's super cottage core. It was $1.50 and we're selling for $12.95. I call it like a metal or tarnished silver flower dish because I feel like that looks like a flower on the top. Oh, Les wants to see the tray again. All right, Les, I'm going down. All right. It's been a while since I've just painted plain white on things, but I did it a couple times this week. I'm like, oh, you know, that's really just a great classic look that goes with just about any decor. Holy moly. I think I'm finally to the end of this. Oh, and you can talk about your box. Oh, I will talk about my box. When you're ready, let me know. Okay, I got two more things, and it's all you. Okay. All right. So I got these for – hold on. You put it over the check. Sorry. Now I got oh, – Oh, man. did it pull the tag? Pull the tag up. Hold on. Sorry. Two dollars. Two dollars each. Yes. Um, and I'm a dollar fifty each, and I'm selling them for sixteen ninety five for the pair. We're gonna put IOD on them and then paint them and make them look really cool. So some molds. And then remember last week I bought that one enamel cup. I decided I was gonna do it again because I can already see the scraping of whatever this Rocky Mount SLK foundation coming off. And they love me a good set of enamel mugs. So they were a dollar each, and I'm going to spend probably two hours <laughs> getting this weird white thing off the side, and then they'll be $9.95 for the pair because I'm that dedicated to saving the junk. All right, let's see. I'm just making sure. Oh, less that tray is $12.95. I think one of your hairs got away from you. I do have a lot of hair. It was it was in my paint. And it was not a brush bristle. It was long. Oh, Heidi and Leslie both said they really needed this tonight. I'm glad. We have a lot of fun, and it's good to see everybody get together. Are you ready for the box? What do you clean silver metal with? What do you recommend? So uh, you can use, uh, is it brasso? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't polish my silver. We clean it up. But we yeah, don't wipe it down. We don't really put the elbow grease to it. We like the tarnish. My sister Deborah used toothpaste once to clean some candlesticks for me. Is Zeb um, going to do the layered look again on these? Um, I don't know on these ones. I was gonna. I was so they were silver and like a gray. I, I didn't like the silver and gray. I think if I was gonna do anything, I'd probably maybe try like some copper on this um if i'm gonna do two-tone i might just distress them and see what we get oh felix just bought the pewter floral arrangements that's in the shop the one that was on top of that oh dresser. nice we, we showed that like 
I don't know, maybe five, six weeks ago. And it's got fun fall flowers on it. I love that. It's one of my favorite pieces. And it's good that it sold because the dresser underneath it sold today. So, All right. Let me tell you about my box that Jamie's talking about. I don't know what Lamberti is or how you say it. <laughs> it was a $1.50 tote crate. It's got a little latch on the front. It says it right here too. Again, 60 grit sandpaper. This is like three minutes worth of work. Then I can stencil whatever I want on here or paint it and it won't have any indents from being burned, but it's just a fun little box that's like a crate and I couldn't pass it for a dollar fifty. It's going to take me maybe five minutes, six minutes of my time to zip this off and then I can paint it and do whatever. And I like it a lot. Seb loves boxes. He can't, he likes boxes and he cannot lie. Stuff made with wood. Really? It's my jam. It's your jam. So Sally just picked up those mini Dutch ovens. Nice. And then Miss Diane, what did you buy, Diane? Oh, the pewter bunny spoon. I'll stick it in your pile. Diane, you know you've got a pile. It's all right. We'll save your stuff for whenever you want it. All right. Are you going to finish this tonight? or? I am you... going to distress. This one was gold when we started. Okay. I've got one coat on there. I had always planned on heavy distress because I want some of that gold to come back through. Sometimes you'd let the piece work for you instead of having to work super hard to make it something that it's not. Is it a wine crate? It doesn't look big enough to be a wine crate, but I'm not a wine aficionado. That so might have been too was, much distress. It's really good. It's too much? Let me see. No. That's good. I like it. Okay. I, you need to go the opposite direction, though, because it's looking a little streaky. There you go. Not too much. <laughs> oh, I'm just reading comments. <laughs> I get lost in that. It has been a really long day. It started very early at Discount Tire, getting my um, tire fixed and then crafting all day. And then. Well, and we've been waiting for this tire to come in. It came in from Tennessee because it's kind of a funky size. And then that one was just labeled wrong, wasn't even the right tire. So we had to get another one from California. It's been like two weeks, but they were good. They kept chasing it down. And they took care of us. Uh, so Capes wants to know if the, the dome would fit on a standard. It would fit on an oversized dinner plate. So, like the, you know, those bigger. I don't know, they like 12, 14 inch dinner plates would fit with that dome. Like a standard 10 inch would be too small. So I wanted, I wanted this to have the gold coming through, but I also wanted it to look like it was really old and aged. You could probably white wax this and then just let the white wax sit down in. But I feel like the, the painted look gives it that really age old, someone painted it and then it's coming off kind of look. Yeah. I like that you went the opposite direction. It makes it a little bit less streaky in the yeah. finish. Um, all right, guys, we are going to call that a night because I feel like I'm about to fall. Oh, it's 940. Up. Yes. Um, thank you, Mariah, for joining us and helping out with the links. Um, and I let's make sure I answer everybody's questions. Yes, Diane, it probably would fit on a charger. And my mom is doing good, Sue. Um, if you guys want to purchase anything from tonight or if you want to buy paint or clothes or a myriad of other things, you can visit us at jamierayvintage.com. We've got everything listed on there. And if you like this video and you're on Facebook, if you could share it out, that super helps us. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us tonight and dealing with all the technical you know situations. i feel like it was when we first started going live there was like all these kinks and things we had to work out now we're using a new platform that lets us do all kinds of different fun stuff and there's a bunch of new kinks and things we'll get it we'll get it down yeah we'll and i'm gonna paint down. these two coats and do the same thing i did to that one and maybe we'll be naughty and not listen to our banker and buy new, <laughs> new microphones all right guys catch you later all right bye